Well, Mary, as you know, it's traditionally in July. This year it's in August, and instead of two days, it's one day Saturday. Welcome to AFRAM in Druid Hill Park. How can I be your friend when I'm needing you to? I'm in. I'm all in. Baltimore's African American Heritage Festival has been a two day event drawing top performers and tens of thousands of visitors to downtown Baltimore. This year is different. This year we will be celebrating in a new location, Druid Hill Park local artists, interactive exhibits, and information devoted to careers and employment. In a news conference in May, Mayor Catherine Pugh explained the changes. I mean, I love all of the festivals that we celebrate throughout the city. Um, the city put an awful lot of money into the African American Heritage Festival, and um, A, the city can't afford to do that, and B, uh, a two-day event just got to be too expensive for the city. In past years, the city has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on the high-profile event. The focus now is on local talent and vendors and showcasing Baltimore's African-American community. I traded you, babe, oh, my dear. I'm all in. And all are invited to join in. Now, a spokesman for the mayor says this is more or less an experiment and they will reevaluate after Saturday's event. I'm Pat Warren reporting live now back to you. All right, Pat, thank you. The